Good morning, you guys. So it's currently 8.20 and I'm gonna be showing you guys a complete work day in my life. So everything that I do work related and stuff, I'm just gonna take you around my whole day, but also include like everything to do with work because usually when I take you around my day, I don't include the things that I do for work, if that makes sense. It's 8.20 and I'm currently going to do a COVID test for the film industry because tomorrow I have a fitting and the day after that I'm on set. So they usually test you a couple days, sometimes even the day before. So that's why I'm going in for the testing today. It's at 8.40, so it's in about 20 minutes. I just put like a workout set on because I wanna go straight to the gym right after since I'm already out. I don't wanna like come back home and then go back out to go to the gym. So let's go and I will update you guys throughout my day. Okay guys, I just got home. It's currently 10.38, so I was out for about like just over two hours. Got my COVID test done, worked out, feel great. Honestly, I kind of felt nauseous during my workout. I don't know why. I think it might have been because I ate like a granola bar right before and that might have not settled in my stomach. Or I don't know why, but sometimes like if I work myself out too hard, I'll get nauseous and so maybe that's why. I don't know. But I felt a little nauseous, but I'm fine now. So we're gonna make a protein shake. Like I think I'm just gonna make like my normal like fruit smoothie and then just put protein powder in it because I haven't really had much of a breakfast yet. So let's do that. <laughs> I just showered I got ready for the day this is the kind of attire that I wear when I still want to make myself feel put together a little bit cute but most importantly comfy because today is kind of like a, a work day where I'm gonna be mostly sitting down and editing I have two videos to edit today and then I'm gonna look at my calendar and we're gonna go over what else I have to do today but I know that I have to edit two videos so I'm gonna be mostly sitting down for the majority of the day so first priority is comfort and then second priority is making myself still feel a little bit cute. Um, so I'm wearing this little crew neck from H&M and these sweatpants are also from H&M. And I'm so comfy, but I still feel really put together and cute. And as you guys saw, I did also do a little bit of makeup and I did do my hair just to make myself feel more put together for the day. Also because I'm filming. Makes me just feel better to not wear a robe and pajamas all day and not even brush my hair, you know what I mean? Going to the gym also helps with that because... It makes you shower and then like obviously after you shower you want to like get ready so i'm gonna make a coffee and then we're gonna get to work asap see what I have to do I have been told so many times before getting Google Calendar people were like oh my god use Google, Google Calendar it's so good and I'm like yeah whatever blah 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 but like then I actually started using Google Calendar and it is so good it keeps me on track I plan out my whole entire week using it and it just keeps me so freaking on track it's insane because you can do like tasks every day so what i do is i just write down everything that i need to get done and then i'll divide it into the days of the week so it really just like helps me view my week and kind of assign tasks to every single day if that makes sense so that it's more spread out and it's really attainable and as long as i get the tasks that i need to get done every single day then i'm going to be on track i'm going to be ahead and my best advice for somebody who feels overwhelmed about how much stuff that they need to do is make yourself a to-do list and put that on paper, put, write that down somewhere on your phone and it'll make you feel so much better. So if you guys have never tried Google Calendar, 
um, I would 100% suggest doing it. I used to do like a written calendar on my iPad, but getting Google Calendar, like now I just can't go back. I do do still some writing stuff. Like when I'm thinking of video ideas, I like to write that down on my iPad with like using my pencil. But in terms of like doing, planning my week and like putting, inserting tasks and everything, I just love using my Google Calendar. So the tasks that I need to get done today is I need to edit two videos that I filmed last week. They're kind of already half edited. I just had, didn't finish them. So I need to edit both of those and I need to film a sponsorship to insert it into a video that I filmed last week. And then I need to submit that video to my manager. Yes, I did get a manager slash agent. Um, so now I'm represented, I guess you can say. I have help now doing like my brand deals and my emails and it just takes so much off of my plate because it was getting to a point where it's like, it was taking the creativity away from doing YouTube and it was like, I can't respond to 50 emails a day going back and forth with brands because that's taking up like 90% of my time. She reached out at the perfect time. We had like a video call and I love her so much. She has such good vibes and I'm so happy to be working with her. We just started working together like within the past month. So I need to submit my video to her today so she can get that back to the company and then to get that approved for Saturday. Film this video, which is what I'm doing literally right now. And that's all I have to do today. I already went for a COVID test in the morning, so that was the first thing off my checklist. Every COVID test that I go to, I get $100. That's like the uh, you get for a COVID test, if you guys are curious. So that's kind of like I was already working this morning. So yeah, so that's the schedule. I'm honestly really happy on where I'm at because I'm so ahead in my YouTube videos right now. Like this video that I'm filming today is not gonna go up till next week because i already have two videos for this week if that makes sense because i'm really ahead in filming and it just feels so good to be ahead so i'm gonna start editing and i will keep you guys updated um but yeah it's really not that amusing so i'll just give you guys a little bit of a editing montage here <laughs> going to pick up my purse and my wallet my wallet was in my purse because i forgot it at my parents house last night because we were doing easter dinner and i forgot my purse like who forgets their purse i wasn't the one driving so i don't know i just like didn't remember because i brought a backpack as well anyways i forgot my purse so i'm just going to pick it up because i can't really live without my wallet like i can't pay for anything without my wallet so i'm going to get my purse yeah so we're taking a little bit of a break from work just because i need to get my purse today so thankful that i can take this break from work because i make my own schedule okay okay so i just got back i picked up my purse i got my wallet i got everything i need so now it just feels good because i hate driving without my wallet because you don't have a license you don't have money like i just felt so bare okay so i was just editing for a bit and now i am kind of finished the video that's sponsored but i need to film the sponsorship to insert into the video usually i'll film it in the video as i'm filming already filming that video but since it just didn't work out i need to put like an inserted clip which honestly i don't like doing i like doing it the other way but sometimes i just don't have a choice either way though i do love the brands that i work with um i would never work with a brand that i don't like i always i kind of have a checklist of criteria that i need to check off before i work with a brand it's like do i actually use their products would i buy from them myself do i think that they're going to be beneficial to you guys and like i have turned down brands before that i looked at their website and i'm just like no i would never buy from them and sometimes i did i don't even try out the product first and then i just decline them right when i see their websites i'm like that's personally something that i would not use personally something i would not buy therefore there's no reason why i should be talking about it like i use it you know it's just so fake so i really just want to always stick to this and just be really real and true with my sponsorships even if i don't get as many as i would like because i'm sticking to that i feel like that's better than being fake and lying to you guys you know what i mean yeah that's a little behind the scenes so i'm gonna film the sponsorship right now i have the brief so basically brands will give you a brief i can't show it to you because it's definitely confidential but you just have to basically stick to the 
talking points that they want you to mention the key points about their brand so obviously there's that aspect to it where you still gotta follow those talking points but also making it your own and your experience with them is like so important we're in 420 because i spent so much time editing already and i still have a second video to edit after this so it's gonna be a little bit of a late work day today which is fine because i had to do a couple things that i normally wouldn't like i have to go pick up my purse like an hour away so it's fine but we gotta get back on track okay so i'm just setting up the sponsorship here i'm just gonna do it on this plain blank wall just because since i'm inserting it into the video i want it to look clean yeah so i'm just doing it on a blank wall and i have the brief on my phone here so i'm just gonna be like referencing it just to make sure it's staying on track giving the brands what they want because if you don't uh like refer to the talking points and you just kind of do your own thing completely then they might come back at you and be like you didn't talk about this and you didn't talk about this and i get it because as a brand you want to get certain messages across um about whatever you're trying to promote or whatever so i totally get it so that's why i just kind of make sure to almost like study the brief and make sure that i know the talking points already so that i can just like flow naturally so that's what we're doing right now this is my canon g7x this is what i've been filming this video on right now i'm filming on the canon m50 this is what you're seeing right now and so this is a canon m50 with the 11 to 22 millimeter lens and this is a canon g7x mark ii okay on the canon g7x i love it so much the only downfall is that the autofocus is horrible and it's just like pretty cropped it's not wide it's not a wide angle and that's originally why i bought this camera and why i bought the wide lens with it except the only thing that i don't like about this camera is that the g7x is way better at lighting everything i find like if i'm kind of in a spot where it's not getting the best lighting this camera is going to look grainy and not give me the best lighting like i always have to make sure that when i film on this camera i have good lighting like right now i have this window directly on my face so um, there's good lighting and it's good quality but then once i bring it into somewhere darker it doesn't do as good of a job as this camera where this camera is kind of good in any lighting and it'll light up anything i don't know how to explain it but the lighting is just better on this one and the i like the angle the wide angle on this one so i kind of just go back and forth honestly with the two which is fine but i really want to try the sony zv1 i know a couple youtubers that i watch who use it and i really do like it it is a thousand dollars which is not that bad for a camera but like i'm kind of on the fence of like trying it maybe i'll just buy it try it out and then i can always return it if i buy it brand new so we'll see but Anyways, I don't really want to sell these two cameras either because I'm kind of attached to them. They're like my little babies. So I don't know what to do, guys, but I might try out the Sony ZV-1. And it's also like this is my technically like my job. So if I invest into a, a camera, a new camera, it's an investment. It's not really a waste of money at all. So And it's a write-off. So yeah, anyways, filming this sponsorship now and then we're going to edit it in. But... Okay, you guys, future me coming in because I want to give a big thank you to... You guys, look at the vlog now. It's literally all covered. I can't even see outside. That is super easy. Okay, so a little update. I'm currently uploading the video as we speak. This is the video that's sponsored, so I just edited the rest of it. I watched it over to make sure that everything was good and now it's just uploading except there's 11 minutes left So when that uploads and processes then i'm going to put the video as like unlisted And then i'm going to send the link over so that we can hopefully get it approved by saturday It's currently 6 40 and I didn't think that this video would take me this long to do The video that i'm uploading is actually like my clean girl day in my life i'm pretty sure i'm gonna t title it i just realized that it's probably up by the time you guys see this anyway so technically i still have to edit my video that's going up wednesday but that's not a sponsored video so i don't have to submit it so it doesn't really matter but i think i might move that to tomorrow because i just checked my calendar and i think i can squeeze it in tomorrow just because it's already getting so late like it's almost seven o'clock we have to try to break out of toxic productivity society tells you that like oh you have to work x amount of hours a week and like you always have to be productive but that's not true like you have to have a balance as well do i want to accomplish everything on my to-do list today yes but at the same time 
it's okay that I didn't get to to edit that second video like I did everything that I could today I didn't slack off I'd rather just like fit it in tomorrow because I feel like that's just more balanced and healthy I feel like society just kind of ingrains in us that like oh you have to be always working you have to be always super productive you have to always be blah 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 to be successful and it's like yeah that's true to an extent like you can't just sit on the couch all day and expect things to happen but at the same time you got to have a healthy balance so but yeah so right now i pretty much scratched off everything on the to-do list the only thing that i want to do right now before i finish working is i just want to make the thumbnail for this video so let's make the thumbnail <laughs> So the thumbnail is in, video is on unlisted, which means that anybody with the video link can view the video. So that's what I do when I send the video to a brand is I put it on unlisted because then they can watch it and nobody else can. So after they approve it, if they do, then I'm going to obviously switch it and schedule it. But for now, I just have it on unlisted and I just um, sent this link to my manager. So. We are all good to go. Finishing the workday a little late at 7.30, but <laughs> it's fine. Honestly, I had no idea that video was gonna take me so long, but hey, it happened and it's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna be super realistic with you guys right now. So while I am working, I hate washing dishes because I just feel like cooking plus washing dishes takes so much time. So to be honest, at the end of the day, the dishes do accumulate a little bit. So this is from basically me and Joel's breakfast and lunch and we just kind of put everything in the sink and then once we're done working then we'll like wash the dishes just because it just feels too time consuming to make food, eat it, and then also wash the dishes. So I'd rather just honestly do it in one go after I'm done working. Um, but yeah, so there is quite a few dishes here that I'm going to tackle right now. This will probably only take me like 10 minutes not even so it's whatever but i just want to get it out of the way because it looks really disgusting mm -hmm. 